well, no, no, well, no sooner did um, the, the Senator Patrick Lehigh, a Democrat from, Ber- from Vermont, announce, it, announce to the final count in Donald Trump's second impeachment trial that Trump was acquitted by a tally of 57 to 43. Then the celebration began. Republic, Republican Senate loyalists rushed to the microphones to declare victory, which it really wasn't. Champagne courts popped at RNC headquarters, and Trump's defense lawyers were caught on camera sharing bumps on the Senate subway. Um, not so fast. The true Democratic House managers did not persuade 67 senators to hold Trump accountable for what happened on January 6th. And true, for the second time an impeached Donald Trump escaped conviction by the Senate. And true, in the short term, this may look like a victory for Donald Trump and the Republican Party, um, and the Republican Party, but don't be fucking fooled by this. As Peter Baker, as Peter Baker wrote in the New York Times, this um this verdict was no long term exoneration for Donald Trump. It was merely a temporary escape. After the verdict, Trump is weaker and not stronger. And ironically, in the long term, Democrats and not Republicans will be the real winners of the of the Senate vote, and the Republican Party will be the bigger biggest will be the biggest loser for several reasons. Um. First and foremost, because the whole world now knows that Donald Trump is guilty of inciting the mob that stormed the Capitol on January 6th, the evidence House managers presented is overwhelming. He assembled the mob, he summoned the mob, he incited the mob, and then he watched it all on te- television without lifting a fucking finger to stop the goddamn violence, even when even when informed that his vice, um, vice squatter and his family were running for their lives. And that one single senator, who because they didn't have a spine, um, not one of them voted not not one of them voted guilty, and th- or even attempted to refute the evidence. Not one. Instead, starting with Moscow Mitch, who's a Republican from Kentucky, they all based their no a vote on the on their mistaken but convenient belief that the Constitution does not allow convicting a squatter that's no longer in office. Um, which means that the Republican Party is now more than ever the party of Donald Trump, and this and this was Republicans' last chance to break with Trump and move on, but they fucking blew it. So now they're fucking stuck with them. The only squatter to be impeached twice, the squatter who received the most bipartisan votes ever for Senate conviction, and the squatter with the lowest approval ratings of any modern squatter, and the squatter who just lost the Republicans the House, the Senate, and the White House, the former squatter who most likely um, will most likely be facing criminal charges in New York and Georgia, and according to the latest ABC poll, the squatter won 56% of Americans believe should have been convicted and banned from ever running for office again. And yet, rather than seize the than seize the best opportunity to dump the typhoid Donald, Republican senators embraced him instead. So now they'll be joined at the hip with him in 2022 and twenty twenty four. And when he's already threatened to, to incite civil war inside the Republican Party by campaigning against any Republican he believes is not sufficiently sufficiently loyal. Um, Democrats, meanwhile, have been handed a golden opportunity. Think about it: running against Donald Donald Trump, Joe Biden won more votes than any presidential candidate in history. He crushed Trump by 7 million votes with Trump on the ballot in 2020. And Democrats won the House, the Senate, and the White House, and, Trump, and Trump's the best thing that ever happened to the Democratic Party. Nobody excites the Democratic base more. And now they'll have Donald Trump to run against in 2022 and 2024, while Republicans will be forced to defend him again and again. And Republicans may be celebrating today, but they'll, but they'll soon rule the day that they chickened out and failed to convict the squatter Donald Trump. <laughs>